Coming up on Hawk TV News, details on a shooting over the weekend in Norfolk, an update on Benjamin Avenue construction, and with graduation sneaking up, Connor has all the info from Career Services. You're watching Hawk TV News. Welcome into Hawk TV News. I'm Irvin Doman. Let's get started with your local news. On April 9th, Norfolk police received a call regarding a shooting that occurred inside a residence on Phillip Avenue. A female resident told officers that Maxine S. Keys, 42, had been staying at the residence and had been acting erratic and paranoid throughout the night. Around 7.30 a.m., the victim used the phone to call for assistance in dealing with Keys. During this time, Keys became confrontational and the victim inside the residence and pulled out a handgun. Keys began to fire the handgun at the victim. The victim fled the home and Keys pursued. The victim made it to a neighboring residence and was able to call 911. The victim was not hit by any of the fired bullets. Keys was arrested that morning and held in the Norfolk City Jail and later transferred to the Madison County Jail. Ten college students were placed under arrest on Tuesday morning. The arrests come after 30 plus election signs supporting Stanton County Sheriff Mike Unger were stolen. Signs stolen were from areas by Woodland Park and Stanton. They were recovered at a house just north of Stanton that was, a, that was host to a party that last fall led to many MIP citations. After they were placed under arrest, all of them confessed to their role in the thefts. For many students that are graduating, they are looking for a place of work or continuing their education. Northeast Career Services are a great help for current and past students. Hawk TV's Connor Luby has more. Career Services is a service aimed to help current and graduated students get ready for their career search. One-on-one -on -one advisement to help students and alum in their job search is provided. Employer connections are made with the ability to improve your interviewing skills. The Northeast Job Board is hosted through Career Services with over 500 jobs listed on the board. Terry Hagemeyer, Career Services Director, explains why the Northeast Job Board is fine-tuned and program-oriented. The good thing about our job board is it is going to be program specific in many cases. So when our students attend here, most likely they will find some jobs very relevant to their training that they've received here that they can then see that vacancy notice and then apply to that position. So every position will have complete job description and application process. Northeast students have a better opportunity to get jobs in their fields through the job board. Many Northeast alum post available positions at their companies looking for motivated students that have completed courses at Northeast. In conjunction, Career Services hosts the Northeast Job Fair, an opportunity for business owners to meet with students in different fields. The next career fair will be in the fall semester of next year. Whether it's in the Northeast Nebraska area or not, the opportunities keep growing through Career Services. In the last couple years, we are seeing more of the larger cities come onto our job board to reach out to our students. I think uh, now that we've become more mobile, we have more access to remote work, we're reaching out into those um, broader and larger markets. And so we may see some of the students start to leave and go to those other markets, possibly outside of our 20 county area. Career Services is a great service for all students past and present looking for help in their career paths. They help with cover letters, resumes, and have jobs posted almost daily on the job board. The Career Services is a great resource to use when looking for your next job. For Hawk TV News, I'm Connor Luby. On April 11th, shortly after 11 a.m., Norfolk Dispatch received a call of a fire at northwest of Norfolk. The caller advised there was a fire at the residence and a man was trying to put it out. Norfolk Fire was dispatched along with the Madison County Sheriff's Department. Upon arrival, responders found a fire, a fire burning among the outbuildings on the property. Near the fire, they found a body of a man who had died from fire-related injuries. 
The man was identified as 72 year old Stanley E. Ackley was a resident of the address. A witness said that Ackley had been burning trash at that location. The Benjamin Avenue Road Construction prog Project is in progress. As the construct construction continues, traffic flow will be congested and caution should be used when traveling through the area. The construction, uh, the construction area, excuse me. Give yourself extra time if you are planning to drive through the area. Motorists must pay attention to the signs and lanes that have been set up for drivers to use while driving through the construction. Motorists must stay on the street and not attempt to bypass construction by going through private parking lots. It is illegal for drivers to try and bypass in intersections and traffic control by devices by crossing adjacent property. The Norfolk Police Division will be monitoring the area and violators can be ticketed. Disabilities are a big thing nowadays, especially on college campuses. Hawk TV's Christopher Thiem has more. If you are a student who has any kind of disability, whether learning, emotional, physical, and you need adjustments to your college environment, Northeast Community College welcomes you. Advisor Connie Meyer says when students are recommended to them, they meet with them to see what kind of accommodations will best fit the students' needs. Well, when students are referred to disability services, we meet with them and see kind of what kind of a disability they have and what um, accommodations might be helpful to them so they have equal access to all of the course material. So then we meet with them and do the intake, ask a bunch of questions, and then get documentation so we can see what kind of accommodations we can justify for that. Northeast Disability Services staff supports the college mission as they work with faculty, staff, and students to identify reasonable accommodations, services, and resources that promote help inside and outside of the classroom. They believe the ultimate success is when students with a disability can access the college environment. Typical accommodations that are used the most are the testing accommodations, and that would be being able to have a little extra time to take a test. Some students um, with various disabilities, ADHD or learning disabilities or anxiety, m mental health issues, benefit from having the test so that they could listen to it. So we do that sometimes. Um, copies of notes, um, um, being able to record lectures, things like that are some of our typical accommodations. For more on disability services, you can go to northeast.edu. For Hawk TV News, I'm Christopher Thiem. The Northeast Hawk Talk series continues tonight at 7. Faculty members Dr. Annie Corbett and Stacy Aldag will be t the speakers for tonight. They're talking about the effects of statistics on society. Hawk Talks is a series put on by Paul Muncie, a, so a social sciences instructor at Northeast. In five years of existence at Northeast Community College, the baseball team has exceeded everyone's expectations. I had the pleasure to learn more about how the program was built and hear from a current leader on the Northeast baseball squad. In 2017, Northeast Community College added the sport of baseball to their athletic department, and not even head coach Marcus Clapp thought success would come as quick as it did. In just the second season, the team made a historic run to the NJCAA Division II Baseball World Series in Eden, Oklahoma. That team went on to graduate 15 sophomores, nine of which went on to play baseball at four-year institutions. A common theme between the success of that team and the success the Hawks have had this year is how Coach Clapp finds players that fit the culture. When I started this, it had to be the culture. You know, we had to get the kids in that wanted to be here, that wanted to work hard. Um, you know, guys that have the dreams of, of continuing playing ball at the highest level. And when you get those types of kids, then you're going to be successful as a program. When it comes to how this season's baseball team has reached success, it's a combination of Coach Clapp's vision and a team camaraderie. Sophomore catcher Sam Manwarren firmly believes that the team chemistry they have built is a massive reason for the success they've seen this year. It's everything. I mean, like, if you have good team chemistry, I mean, winner, like, talent or not, I mean, you're going to win games. It's just, I mean, you're, you're playing for each other. Um, and it means everything. Having chemistry is the most important thing. 
Sam is like many players that Coach Clapp has brought into the program at Northeast. They have a love for the game that drives them to compete in the sport for as long as they can. Sam and Coach Clapp both said the team has one main goal, which is to make it back to Enid right where their season began. Currently, the Northeast Hawks baseball team has a record of 29 and 8, playing next against Iowa Lakes in Esterville, Iowa on Friday. Connor will have the results from the baseball games yesterday during Sports Focused. Next, Chris will be in with your national news update. There are everyday actions to help prevent the spread of respiratory diseases. Wash your hands. Avoid close contact with people who are sick. Avoid touching your eyes, nose, and mouth. Stay home when you are sick. Cover your cough or sneeze. Clean and disinfect frequently touched objects with household cleaning spray. For more information, visit cdc.gov COVID-19. This message brought to you by the National Association of Broadcasters and this station. First, they said cigarettes were safe. We know how that turned out. Now, they say they didn't market e-cigarettes to teens? Fact, more than one in four high school students are vaping, and 80% say their first e-cigarette was flavored. Vaping is harmful to developing brains. The reason we think vaping is safe? Marketing. Same lies, different day. Tell Big Vape to quit lying. I'm a licensed practical nurse. I work in rehab, long-term care, and assisted living facilities. When I look at my residents, I see my mom, my dad, and I'm giving the respect and the care I would want. We are protectors of our residents. Their safety, their health, and happiness are three things that we're working on 24-7. We've taken an oath to do that, but it's in our hearts to do that. Home doesn't just have to be where you sleep or eat. Home is where you are comfortable, confident, and welcomed. The Media Arts Department at Northeast Community College is our home. From the moment you step through the doors, you feel like you gained a family. You'll gain hands-on experience that you can't find anywhere else. It's a decision you'll be happy you made. With classmates and teachers to help at every turn, check out the Northeast Community College Media Arts Department. For more information, go to northeast.edu. Currently here in the Hawk TV studios, it is 44 degrees outside and it's sunny. Expect for tonight to get down 24 degrees and clear. We'll take a look at your weekly forecast here. Coming up tomorrow, it's going to be 50 degrees and sunny outside, followed up by the weekend time with uh, 49 and cloudy on Friday and then Heading into Saturday and sunny, it's looking like some snow and rain mix heading in there Saturday night, all day Sunday, and then into Sunday night, 50% chance of precipitation on the Sunday, 50 on Saturday, 53 on Sunday, 49 on Monday, 58 on Tuesday and cloudy. So it's looking like it's going to be turning around here pretty solid towards the end of the week but on the weekend, it's gonna be a little bit of trouble with the rain and snow coming in. We'll take it back here, and if you wanna know weather anytime, you can go on our website, KHWK Hawk TV News. Back to National Weather with Christopher Thiem. A key measure of inflation rose at the fastest clip since records have been kept. The producer price index increased 1.4% in March, more than the 1% bump analysts had forecasted. It's up 11.2% over the past 12 months. It's the biggest one-year increase since the Bureau of Labor Statistics first calculated 12-month data in 2010. Hollywood is remembering Gilbert Gottfried as the most iconic voice in comedy. The 67-year-old si died yesterday of a heart abnor abnor abnormality caused by a form of muscular dystrophy. He did stand up for 50 years, but is, but is best known for voicing the wisecracking parrot in Disney's Aladdin. The broadcast show paid tribute to the New York native after last night's performance, saying, the, saying he breathed life into the role and made the character what it is. 
Some universities and colleges are going back to indoor mask mandates on campus as COVID-19 cases are on the rise. Three universities in Washington, D.C. and Baltimore are in the latest. American, Georgetown and Johns Hopkins are against or again requiring masks indoors as the Omicron subvariant BA.2 is pushing up new infections. Admission to America's national parks will be free this Saturday. It's the first day of National Park Week and, and admission is free at all of the agency's more than 400 parks and monuments that, ch that charge admission. Visitors will have to pay amenity and user fees, including camping, boat launchers, and transportation and tours. National Park Week runs from Saturday, April 16th through Sunday, April 24th. Coming up, Connor is in with sports. The golf team with a great uh, streak going, baseball team in the thick of ICCAC matchups, and three new basketball players joining the team. You're watching Hop TV News. We all make choices about alcohol. Kids make choices whether to drink or not. Bye, Dad. Bye-bye. Remember, I'm going to Alex's party tonight and sleeping over. You have fun. Hey, Em. Remind me about that party again. And adults make choices whether to talk about it. That's true of parents and every other trusted adult in a kid's life. Kids want to know our expectations, and they want honest answers in everyday conversations. So talk with your kids and help lead them on a positive path. Because when you talk, they hear you. Know how to wear your face mask correctly. First, wash your hands with soap and water for at least 20 seconds or use hand sanitizer that contains at least 60% alcohol. Put your face mask over your nose and mouth and secure it under your chin. If the mask has loops, hook them around your ears. If it has ties, secure them at the base of your neck and crown of your head. Make sure you can breathe easily. Remove your mask carefully. Untie the straps or unhook the loops from your ears and pull the mask away from your face without touching the front of your mask. Don't touch your eyes, nose, or mouth when taking off your mask. Wash your hands for at least 20 seconds immediately after removing your mask or use hand sanitizer that contains at least 60% alcohol. Learn more at cdc.gov slash coronavirus and coronavirus.gov. Hi, I'm Dr. Shelley Flace with today's tip for kids from the American Academy of Pediatrics. The nicotine in e-cigarettes is addictive and can harm brain development. That's why I worry about teens who try e-cigarettes. Many young people use pod-based e-cigarettes like Juul, which have high levels of nicotine. And because teens' brains are still developing, they can quickly become addicted. The tobacco industry uses fruit and candy flavors to attract young people, often turning them into lifelong users. For more, visit HealthyChildren.org. The Northeast golf team came away with the victory in the Howl at the Hills Tournament in Lincoln. Nebraska Westland was a host team for the event that was played at Hillcrest Country Club. The team shot 611 over the two rounds. Ty Hymas shot 150 and came home with a second place honors. Jordan Hart came home fourth shooting a 152. The team is ranked number 11 in NJCAA Division II competition with a two tournament stretch in a row with great finishes. The Hawks ne next event is at home, the Northeast Invitational on Monday. Competition for that starts at noon. The Hawks had a hard time putting together clean innings as they fell in game one by a final score of 11 to six and dropped game two 22 to 15 in yesterday's contest against Iowa Central Community College. The Hawks are now 29 and eight on the year, nine and six in ICCA, ICCAC uh, conference play. They tally 10 hits in game one and 15 hits in game two on the day. That saw 
all four seasons appear at different times at Norfolk's Veterans Memorial Park. Maxim Fullerton launched his third home run of the season on a ball that was crushed so hard the, it was felt by the house across the street in game number two. Head coach Marcus Clapp, though, had overall thoughts on the game. We weren't very good right now, just bad on the mound right now. So he's just looking for improvements overall. The Hawks will travel to Iowa Lakes Community College for a Friday-Saturday series this weekend. The doubleheader on Friday is scheduled to begin at 1 p.m. in Esterville, Iowa. The Hawks were unable to secure a victory over the weekend as they fell in Game 1 by a final of 15-3, Game 2 final score of 14-5, a Game 3 score of 11-2, and a Game 4 score 13-2 in a series in softball against DMAC, Des Moines Area Community College. The Hawks now 15-21 and 21 on the year, 0-12 and 12 in ICC-AC uh, conference play. Struggled to match the high-powered offense the Bears uh, brought throughout the course of the series. The Hawks were able to hang uh, with the Bears at times over the weekend, but the Bears seemed to string together timingly hits when it mattered most. The Hawks will return home for the first time this month to battle Ellsworth in a doubleheader. The first game is scheduled to begin at 2 p.m. Friday at Tallazooka Park in Norfolk, Nebraska. Student athletes at Northeast Community College were, are focused on more than just athletics. They work this spring to ensure that some um, of their neighbors were warm and comfortable. Members of the Hawks Athletic Advisory Council, which was created, created tie blankets that were delivered to members of the Norfolk Veterans Home, located directly across the street from Northeast Campus. Helping the community is very important because it puts you in a different situation than you would normally be on the average day. You get to learn more about things that helped you out and other people. That quote was said by the president of the club, Lorna Maxson, Helping the community at least makes me feel happier and makes me feel like I did something that actually matters. Northeast welcomes three new signees to the men's basketball program. Amari Perkins, a 5'10 guard from Sanford, Florida, and two local kids. The first being Ben Hammond as pictured on the screen, a 6'4 guard from Norfolk Catholic, and a 6'4 forward, Jason Suits, Suits from Humphrey, Nebraska. Perkins is a lethal shooter from three sitting with 50%, while Hammond and Suits have just some history playing each other over this year in the state playoffs. Both have been standout athletes within the respective programs and are looking to contribute in large ways for the Hawks next year. Coming up on Hawk TV News, Irvin will be in with his entertainment news, including a new Netflix hit and JLo's new engagement. All this and more is going to be here on Hawk TV News. Every year, 4.5 million young adults between the ages of 18 and 24 visit the ER. It's every parent's nightmare. Umergency gives you all the tools you need to quickly and effectively manage your family's emergency. Umergency provides instant access to vital resources customized to your student's campus and local community, digital consent form, and built-in urgent alert button. Umergency gives you peace of mind when you need it most. Download your Umergency app now. Yes, I'm a smoker. And yes, I'm aware I should quit. I get pressure from everyone I love and everything around me. Smoking is really, really bad for you. Yet sometimes that pressure alone is enough to make me want to light up. At 1-800-QUIT-NOW, we get it. With free coaching services and nicotine gum, patches, or lozenges, we're here for you. No lectures, no judgment. Call us at 1-800-QUIT-NOW today. There's a place to share gossip about the office party fun and a place to share the story you tell everyone. There's a place to share a laugh about when things went wrong and a place to share the video of you dancing to your song. There's a place to share spare change, lunch, and your time. But we could all be better at sharing how we're feeling inside. 76% of employees have struggled with at least one issue that affected their mental health. When you share, you're not alone. You need a ride home? Nah, I got a ride home from Kyle. Uh, all right, man, see yourself. <sighs> what does he know? Did I miss? I don't know. 
Did I miss my turn? Oh, sh Every day in the United States, 28 people lose their lives in drunk driving crashes. That is over 10,000 people that are lost every single year. Don't drink and drive. This is a public service announcement of Hawk TV. A couple in Hawaii is no longer seeking a temporary restraining order against Ezra Miller. The Hollywood Reporter claims a judge approved the couple's petition for the order. This comes after the Flash actor was allegedly or arrested after allegedly getting aggressive at a karaoke bar on the Big Island last month. There's no word on why the couple dropped their request. Actor Frank Langella is the center of a sexual harassment investigation. TMZ reports Langella has been accused of inappropriate conduct while on the set of the fall of the House of the Usher. The outlet cites a source who claims Langella allegedly made a joke that was sexual in nature. So far, he has not been suspended from the series. Jennifer Lopez, jo Jennifer Lopez, excuse me, is opening up about her second chance at love in on her uh, JLo newsletter. Lopez said she was in the bath when Ben Affleck proposed. She said she was taken off guard when she was trying to get her head around the fact that after 20 years it was happening all over again. She said that it was nothing fancy but still the most romantic thing she could have imagined. The two were engaged in early 2000s but called it quits before rekindling last year. The Adam Project is a hit on Netflix. The streaming giant announced that Ryan Reynolds led film is the fourth most watched English language film of all time. It's been watched over 233 million times in its first 28 days on the platform. And uh, Chris, I know that uh, you're a big Ryan Reynolds guy. I, I am. I love Ryan Reynolds. I love him too. Deadpool is one of my favorites. Do you like Deadpool? Oh yeah, I love Deadpool. All right. Well, Great then movie. I I would recommend checking this one out exactly. on Netflix. And that is all the time we have here on Hawk TV News. Remember to check out the news daily on khwkhawktv.com, and we'll be back next Wednesday. Until then, go Hawks.